Alright, welcome back to another Art of War 3 replay. I'm your host, John Cena. And today, we're going to be doing a tournament battle. This is the Behind the Wall Tournament. I'm going to be the blue Confederate player. My opponent is going to be a red rank 19 resistance player. Let's go ahead and get into it. So, this tournament's a little bit different because you get some set defensive buildings that uh, kind of safeguard your base. So this allows people to go for the fast HQ4 or HQ3 deployments. Uh, so my plan is to go for some aviation with hammer tanks. Vertex is getting a scout onto the resistance player's base. We can see that Red is planning on going for a full ground build. We see one Avia factory in the mix there. My plan is to actually take advice from uh, Kinizul, who is a medalist player in the Diamond League. Uh, he advised me to go for hammers and Thor's mixed together, so uh, if you're watching this one, Kinizel, this one's for you. My plan is to go for a shield generator supporting the hammer tanks and a handful of Thor's. I'm going to use the Thor's for production suppression and use the hammer tanks to deal with the JCP. Here comes my first flight of Thor's going straight for those factories. We see a JCP army on the move there. Level 3 assault vehicle factory gets leveled. Level 3 special vehicle factory gets crushed as well. I'm going to lose a Thor, but one Thor for two production factories is a very good trade-off on my end of things. And we're going to throw on a gold servicing boost there just to uh, get my Thors ready to go again as soon as possible. And we can see at the top of the map here, Red's now launching a JCP counterattack. Red knows that they are potentially out of options if they just sit and wait. So they're attempting to take initiative though. These rocket towers are dishing out tons of damage against the Jaguar tanks though, and Red is being delayed long enough for me to move my ground army back into position. So I'm going to move my hammer tanks back into position. Here come my Thors. Three Thors are going to score a bomb run onto the ground troops there. Hammer tanks moving back in in mass, and the hammer tanks are going to clean up these tanks very easily. Red's in trouble now. Uh, Red did not do a good job microing their chameleon army. These tanks are just trying to roll in uh, without any cover. So we've cleaned up the assault from the Red player very nicely. And what we're going to do now is we're going to regroup. A couple hammer tanks there don't get microed properly. They do get cleaned up by those gun towers. I've replenished my Thors. Now I'm going to launch another round of uh, Thors here. And here we go. Gold uh, air attack boost goes on. And let's see what we go for this time. We're going for the level 3 special vehicle factory. Factory goes down and we hit the level 1 special vehicle factory. So Red does not have any factories left to make brown troops. Red, as we can see here, is trying to transition towards an aviation build with bombers. But I'm going to take this uh, moment to take full advantage of the lack of Red's ground army. And I'm going to full send with my mass hammers with the shield supporting the hammer tanks and red's only got a handful of vehicles here even with the defensive buildings to help support red this is not enough red is now in huge trouble i have a giant army in red's base and red has no ground units to defend with at all one of those airfields does get cleaned up and at this point it's pretty much good game red he's gonna self-destruct all right that's good game we'll see you in the next one